Hi, and welcome to Fit and Fun. I'm Miss Victoria. This program is recommended for ages six and up, but also depends on the exercise. But as a quick disclaimer, just want to remind y'all that you have to be able to be cleared by a doctor, consult with a physician, be cleared by the physician to do this exercise program. If it's the first time, please definitely get that clearance. And if you're continuing the program, it doesn't hurt to check just to make sure that you are still clear to do the program, which parents, I strongly recommend that you join your child in this program because parents, you have to be involved when it comes to exercising, especially with these exercises, you want to make sure they're doing it safely. So let's go over a couple of things that we always need and some optional ones because I know you're probably wondering why is Miss Victoria on the floor? Reason is, we're gonna be doing two floor exercises today. So there is an optional equipment that's something item you're gonna be needing. So, but let's go over the ones we usually have. We usually have some form of hydration. Um, I'm gonna be using water like I always like to start off with. And of course, you can also have Gatorade, Pedialyte, and Powerade, which will give you your electrolytes that you'll need in your system. Now you can start off with that and finish with it, that's fine. You keep those electrolytes in your system. I like to start off with my water just to keep it nice and hydration so I won't be dehydrated. And when I finish my exercise, I like to get out of my fridge. I'll pull out my Gatorade, Pedialyte, or Powerade so it's nice and cool. And I'll drink that after the, pro after the exercise program so that way I get those electrolytes back into my system. You choose however you want to go ahead and do it. I'm going to start off with my water. The other thing we always need is a towel. Just in case, you know, we're sweating, you want to wipe that, you don't want to end the floor or anything, especially since we're doing floor exercises. Uh, you can also, if you have headband you can use, you can use wristbands as well, but it doesn't hurt to have a towel just in case you catch any sweat that you get. Other optional things you're going to need because of floor. If you don't have a room that has carpet that you can do the exercise on, uh, if you have a rug, you can do the exercise on the rug. Uh, you can do it on a comforter. Uh, you can go out. If you don't have one, you can get a yoga mat. And you can lay it down on the floor, and that way it will help you when you're doing your floor exercise. But that's optional. It's easier if you want just to get a cushion or a comforter or a blanket or something just to put underneath you as well. That'll work with it as well. So we're going to be doing two stretches. Now remember, in between stretches and the exercises, make sure you're still breathing in and breathing out because you want to keep yourself, the airflow, keep it going in between. You don't want to be holding your breath throughout the exercise program. So our first stretch we're going to be doing, both of them are going to be perfectly matched with our exercises today. First one, what I want you to do is extend your feet, your legs and your feet. What you're going to do when I mean extend feet, I want you to keep it either straight or kind of point it down. I don't want it pulled in. Either, either point it down or just keep it straight up. You're going to relax your arms. And what we're going to do is a nice long stretch that's going to work for our arms and our legs at the same time. So let me show you. I'm just going to reach out. Try to keep your back as straight as possible. And you're going to reach and stretch. Stretch to touch your toes. You can pull it just a little bit if you want, but just stretch. Try to keep those legs straight. You don't want it flat to the ground. I don't want you lifting it up. Try to keep it flat. We're gonna do it at least five times. I'm gonna hold the stretch a couple of seconds in between, and the last one we're gonna hold it at least for five seconds. A little bit longer on our last stretch. So let's go ahead and get started. Ready? Relax. Very good. Okay, here we go. One. Very good. Bring it back. Stretch. Two. Bring it back. Three. Hold this one for a little bit longer. Very 
very good. Slowly bring it back. So on that one, you can feel it pulling your, on your arms and you can feel on the legs because you have to keep it flat. So there's the stretch you have in there. Now the next stretch, we're gonna stay in the same position we are. And what I want you to do is this, if you have, didn't do it on the first stretch, do it this time. I want you to point your toes down. I want you on your palms, lean back. You can have them on the side or you can have them to the back, whatever's comfortable for you. So you're gonna lean back and all we're gonna do is we're gonna lift our legs at least 10 times, okay? So ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Nine. Very good. Now on that one, you, uh, you notice that I went, picked it up just a little, and then as I was getting, I picked it up a little higher. So you can raise the stretch how you want. You can lift your legs even higher to get a, a bigger stretch if you want. But I'm gonna keep it nice and moderate because I don't want to overstretch my legs, okay? Now let's go ahead and do a quick breathe. Breathe in, a deep breath out. Very good. You want to take those deep breaths in between. I know we're breathing, but you need to take those deep breaths as well. So let's go ahead and I'm going to move on to our first exercise, which is going to be called heel touch. Now when you see heel touch, you kind of want to get touching your heels. This was a little different. So I'm going to show you real quick. I want you to lay down flat on your back. And I want you to bring your feet in. Now for this one, you're gonna wanna do at least the motion of it because you don't wanna overstretch because then you might pull something. But I'll show you what it's gonna look like in the modified version, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna kinda get up like it's beginning to do a, a sit up. And with your hands, what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach over and touch your heel. Reach over, touch your heel. But modified, all I want you to do is be able to just do that same motion, okay? So you would just go one, two. You just want that kind of motion. So you're holding this up and you're tightening your stomach muscles and you're just gonna move side to side. So it's almost like you're touching your heels. If you can, great. But don't over push yourself and end up pulling something because you want to touch your heel, okay? We're going to do 20, so you're going to go ahead, you can do four sets of five, take your breaks in between, two sets of ten, take one break in between, and of course you can do just like I'm going to go ahead and do it, which is just by 20 straight, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and begin, so make sure I get in position, get up, alright, here we go, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You stop here if you need to. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nineteen, twenty. Very good. Go ahead and lean back a little bit. You breathe in. I'm gonna get up real quick, just for a second. So I'm going to go ahead and take my 25 second break. And in between this time, as always, go ahead and hydrate yourself. If you need to use your towel. And we're going to breathe in. And out. Breathe in. Now I want you to go ahead and continue. You can take your break, 25 second break. You can make it even longer. Remember, you can always stop the video and breathe, take your rest longer. You can also stop the video and do the heel touches at your own pace, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and move on since I'm ready to our next exercise, which is called flutter kicks. Now flutter kicks, you're gonna be in the same position you were for the heel touch. So we're gonna go ahead and lay back down. Okay. Now, 
I'm going to demonstrate it for you and then you can stop the video and do it at your own pace. Alright, so here we go. Keep your hands flat on the floor because this is going to help brace yourself. So what you're going to do is you pick your legs up. It's almost like you're walking. So you can have them separated. And you can just pretty much almost like a scissor kick but not crossing. So it's going to go one, two. This is almost like you're walking on air. Three, four, just like that. Okay? Now, you're gonna do at least 20 also. So, just like on our heel touch, you can do four sets of five with breaks, two sets of two, two sets of 10, sorry, two sets of 10 with a break in between. And of course, you can do the straight 20, which is what I'm gonna go ahead and do. So, if you're ready, you can stop the video and do this at your own pace. Here we go. Make sure we're all ready. Get in position. Legs up. And you want to make sure your hands are here so you can brace yourself. And get ready, set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You stop here. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good. Let's go ahead and bring that down. And get back up. Now we can take our 25 second break, or you can make it 30, however you like. Of course, remember, this is always at your own pace. We're going to go ahead and hydrate. Okay. Now I just demonstrated two of our new floor exercises. If you still feel like you want a little bit more after your 25 second and 30 second break, go ahead and do another set of 20 heel touches and 20 flutter kicks. Make sure you do, you're still taking your break in between those two exercises. And if you feel like you nice and warmed up. Go ahead and go outside and take a nice little brisk walk to finish off your complete workout. As always, you can look at the other exercises and combine that with this one. Just be careful when you're doing the floor exercises. Do those first. Take a nice break. Stretch and go ahead and do another set of different exercise if it's standing or another set of floor exercises. Be careful when you're combining it. We don't want you, I don't want you to overdo it. So if it's your first time when we're continuing, go ahead and do another set of the same exercise we just did or take a nice walk outside. I don't, I don't recommend combining it with another exercise. If you do, maybe one other exercise, okay? Let's not overdo it. I don't want you hurting yourselves, okay? Now, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our breathing exercises, which I like to do. I like to do it as five, but you can always extend how many times you do it. I'm going to breathe in. I'm using my hands to demonstrate through our nose and breathe out through our mouth. Okay? Of course, when you're breathing out, always do it nice and slow. Okay? So let's go ahead and begin. We're going to do it five times. Ready? Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and this last one, take a really big deep breath and hold it for a couple of seconds. Ready? Here we go. And very good. You can extend that if you want. You can do that breathing technique. Uh, you can do it for a minute or two if you're finished with the exercise. So that way you can get your heart rate to go back down to a nice steady beat. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do and move on to is to provide you with some library resources, okay? So here are they, here they are. Great, now these you can find on our website, 
uh, cctexas.com slash library. You can place them on hold and pick them up curbside at any of the branches. And I want you to take your time and remember to check out our Facebook page and our YouTube channel, Corpus Christi Public Libraries. If you haven't already, please like our Facebook page and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see all the videos that we are providing for you at the libraries. If you want a uh, broken down what programs we're providing for you, go back to our website, cctexas.com slash library, click on the link virtual programming, and there will be a breakdown of all the videos and programs we are providing for you. If you need help finding some books on exercising or healthy cookbooks, because you have eat health when you're exercising, you can go to our website, cctexas.com slash library, and you can use a new online browsing option, book alerts, option check and book newsletter to help you out. Place your items on hold. Pick them up curbside Monday through Friday, 2 to 5.30. And please, as always, check into the branches uh, on our website because some of us are starting to open up again for browsing. So you click on our website and call your library that's close to you to get the details. And as always, please do not forget about our online digital resources, Access 360 and Google. And I will definitely see you next time. Bye.